working for you. This is the 23 News Update at 10. Three and a half million dollars in total income makes 2022 the most profitable year yet for the Rockford Area Venue and Entertainment Authority, who's been renovating a building at the same time. 23 News reporter Jake Pearson talks to event promoters about who's expected to perform and what changes are in store for the BMO Center. Phase three of construction is now underway, including plans for a remodeled northeast corner, new bars, and quality of life improvements never seen before in the building's history. This has been our most successful year since uh, the rave board took over in 2010. Turning things around for the city of Rockford is the goal for the venue and entertainment board, as the group rakes in three and a half million dollars from the events it's hosted over the year. We have an operating surplus. Um, back in 2010, they never thought that would happen. Here we are. With revenue up more than 51%, BMO General Manager Gretchen Gilmore says they now have the money to fix the venue's mechanical systems, which have been operating since the building's inception in 1981. That alleviates the pressure on the city to fund our operations. And what it does is it allows us to use those profits to invest in the building. This is a 42 year old building. Both the Coronado Performing Arts Center and the BMO sold out several shows in the last year. Rave is using those profits to build a new scoreboard, renovate the Ice Hogs team store, and add new bars and stores. Obviously with COVID, and the three summers of renovation. Shows haven't been in here. You're gonna see more activity. Very diverse family shows, and we're doing over uh, 60, 70 shows there a year now. The BMO's food and beverage sales also hit an all-time high, grossing more than $3 million on the 10-year anniversary of the arena's partnership with Saver Rockford. The Coronado also sets a new record, earning nearly $1.5 million in revenue, which is a first in the building's 96-year history.